Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the daily reading. This is a series where I kind of goes for seven days, uh, seven day run. Um, so you're going to be getting a daily reading from me for the next seven days. Hopefully that sounds good. Um, this reading is for tomorrow, though. So tomorrow would be Thursday, May 30th, 2019. We're using the Wooden Tarot by Skull Garden today and the Butterfly Oracle for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Now, I am reading for all signs. So it is a reading for the collective. I'll call out the signs as I see them. And let's see. Currently, the sun is in Gemini. I believe the moon is in Aries. I'm not really sure if that's still in Aries, if the moon is still in Aries tomorrow. Uh, but. Um, that's as far as I know with regards to astrology right now. Um, other than me checking my own chart, I'm not really familiar with what else is going on in the sky, but sometimes that is reflected in the cards. Let's just go ahead and see. What are the most important messages and energies you'd like to deliver, Spirit, to the collective for tomorrow, Thursday? May 30th, 2019, for all signs, for all signs, anyone that may, that may be watching. Okay, we have the Queen of Bones, so this is a an Earth sign energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and it is a feminine energy, so, um, whereas the King of Bones would be the masculine, this is the feminine, so it could be speaking to an Earth sign. Let's see, what else do we need to know about tomorrow, Thursday? May 30th, 2019. What else do we need to know about tomorrow? Thursday, May 30th, 2019. And we have the Eight of Plumes. Uh, so this is actually a Gemini energy. Eight of Swords, Eight of Plumes. Yeah, in this deck, uh, plumes or arrows are this... What else do we need to know about tomorrow, Thursday, May the 30th, 2019? And we have another, uh, what I would consider to be a core card with the Queen of Stones, also known as the Queen of Wands in the Tarot. And we have the bottom of the deck, the Four of Plumes. Okay, so an air sign energy coming up again. This is Libra. So, so far we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Libra coming up in this reading. So you may be, if you're any one of those signs, I would definitely be paying close attention. Even if you're not, this may apply to you. Uh, so with the two core cards here, I'm seeing that it could be that there are two um, feminine energies here who are, uh, I was, I guess I'm kind of getting at some kind, in some kind of a stalemate situation. Um, I'm kind of getting that uh, there's a feeling here of um, being trapped in a situation or even maybe there are things that are preventing you from communicating properly. For example, if you are an earth sign and you work with a fire sign, or if you are a fire sign and you work with an earth sign. Um, the underlying theme or challenge of this reading, however, is the four of plumes. Okay, so this typically has, talks about um, a rest, a break, um, mental stagnation. Uh, we have the bird, or it's like a pigeon, falling down here. So, uh, it could be that there is some kind of stalemate between, I'm saying, between two different people. It could be between you and someone else or between two people that you know. Um, if you are, for example, in a relationship with a fire sign or you, and you're an earth sign, it could be that um, something is preventing you, there's power. Uh, fully being able to acknowledge the other person's power because uh, the Eight of Plumes, uh, the Eight of Swords talks about uh, restriction. This arrow cannot go through here. It's stuck. So it could be feeling stuck regarding uh, a work situation. It could be 
you're feeling trapped in a relationship with someone, possibly a fire sign, an earth sign and a fire sign uh, stuck here. Um, and it could be because there's a break going on right now, some kind of a rest period, a resting period. Um, the Six of Stones is underneath that, so I feel like um, you had victory with this person or you have had success with this person in the past, um, but right now it feels like um, it could be also that something is going on behind your back that you're unaware of um, if you're an earth sign dealing with a fire sign. And if you're a fire sign dealing with an earth sign, it could be that there is uh, your power is being taken away in this situation um, due to, for example, um, the lack of communication or someone who feels like they're a victim in a situation, um, someone who feels that they are unable to do anything about their circumstances. Um, so it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of reading it as a stalemate. So again, uh, an earth sign in a stalemate with a fire sign due to uh, possibly a victim mentality or even someone being trapped, uh, for example, in an unhappy relationship or needing to maybe take a break from this person or on a break or someone is on a break someone is on a break from a fire sign for example or taking a break from a fire sign individual that's how i'm reading the cards today uh, so let's go ahead and pull you a guidance message for tomorrow again may 30th 2019 Let's see what we can get. Please help clarify this reading. What else do we need to know regarding this earth sign and this fire sign? We have body changes. Okay, interesting. Monarch butterflies. If you see a monarch butterfly tomorrow, that may be a sign for you. But this reading is definitely for you. If you've been seeing a lot of monarch butterflies lately, I'm not really sure when they, um, as you can see, this one's still hanging on to the chrysalis. So usually when they're still hanging on, they are actually, I know this might sound gross to some of you, but it's nature. Um, they actually do hang on to their shell and use that as, as their wings are still fragile and developing because they've just come out, they hang on to the shell and they use that as protein uh, or fuel so that they can continue to, uh, Go through their metamorphosis their wings are not ready yet to fly so it could be that someone here is not quite ready to fly not quite ready to leave a situation or um, there's something preventing movement uh, movement between two people here okay could have to do with some body changes let's see let's see let us explore further i'm gonna put my little pyramid there so you guys can see the card Let's see what they say about body changes. And this card guides you to focus on changes in your body so that you can influence it in a healthy direction. It's time to take charge of your own health and remain optimistic. After all, the butterflies show us the power of going through physical changes as they enter the chrysalis phase. Okay, you are undergoing, undergoing a similar preparation stage which will bring you blessings of new strength and insights. Whether your body changes are a result of the aging process, your medical status, or your lifestyle, this card reminds you that you have many options available. Give yourself permission to take positive and healthful action steps supportive of your physical well-being. Additional meanings are a new exercise program, changing your health care regimen, improving your diet, or getting a makeover. So they're talking about a butterfly that is entering the chrysalis phase. So I was actually kind of seeing it as having come out of the chrysalis phase. But in this case, it could be that, um, yeah, someone is, is maybe getting ready for surgery. Maybe someone is getting ready to, um, 
change their diet or needing to go see a doctor. Um, so this could definitely be health related. You know, the queen of bones often does have to do with self care, um, self preservation. Um, obviously someone here, um, could be on bed rest. Uh, it's very possible. And so their movement is constricted in this situation. I mean, the queen of, the queen of stones is much more proactive. She's much more action oriented. Um, so, yeah, I'm also getting the, the message here that while your body is going through changes, um, you may need more rest. You may need to take some time off. You may even notice, for example, um, temperature fluctuations or little things are um, having a greater effect on you uh, So while your body is going through some changes here. And this could be also for someone who, example, is in the last stage of pregnancy or, and they're really needing um, to slow down with their work. Um, it could be that someone is getting ready to do weight loss surgery or something like that. That's really constricting the movements here. All right. And you may have someone else here that is helping you or that is advising you or that is, um, you know, uh, somehow creatively managerially invested in this situation. Um, because like I said, the Queen of Stones, Queen of Wands, much more action oriented. So very interesting reading indeed. Um, but just let me know if you resonate with this reading below down in the comments. I love to hear your feedback and I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. If you like this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family. It really does help me out. And of course, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, I do have openings available. Check my scheduling page for uh, that. You can also visit my website, which is listed below in the description. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.